Yo, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a quick review of the Steel FS56RC Weed Eater. The reason I got a new weed eater, well, Mrs. DIY Tutorial Guy got frustrated with the POS Ryobi and managed to somehow bend it and the drive shaft no longer works in there. Either way, Ryobi is garbage. I'm happy to be back with this. I used steel for years in the lawn care business when I was working with a couple different companies. Let's take a quick look. It won't take too long. Get you guys out of here to mow your lawns, all right? Okay, so there it is. All right, this is a two-cycle engine. You're going to use a mix of oil and gas. You can buy it pre-blended or steel usually runs a sale at like Ace Hardware and stuff that if you buy some of their gasoline or their six-pack of oil, they give you a second year of the warranty. All right, but let's look here. Pull start. All right, here's where you fill it up. Uh, here's what I really like about this compared to the Ryobi. The choke is a lot different here, right? So this is when it's just going to run. This is, this is how it's going to look when it's operating. We got cold start, warm start. To do that, you're going to push this dial in and flip it up to where you want it. We haven't run this yet today. This is going to be a cold start. As soon as you get it started and that engine warms itself up, it's going to flip over down to here. You don't have to do that, which is awesome. Standard kill switch here, trigger, keeps this on. All right, I got this, the FS56RC. What I like here compared to the Ryobi is that there's no midpoint join, joiner, right? There's no shaft that you can plug into here. So I feel like with the Ryobi, that was a stress point that was real easy to break and it was super cheap metal. So honestly, Mrs. DIY tutorial guy or myself, we're bound to break that at some point. Let's look down here. All right, this head is way more durable than what we had on that Ryobi. And you're actually, when you restring it, I'll do a video later, but you're gonna string in two different parts. Um, less tangling, a lot easier than some of the other setups, all right? All right, so what we're gonna do is you gotta hit the, uh, the little bubble back here to, to fill up the, it's really hot, sorry. Just press this bubble about five or six times so it fills up with gas. All right, you don't wanna flood your tank. All right, we're set there. Um, and then, like I said, this is gonna be a cold start. So we're going to flip this up to cold start. All right. There we go. Fired right up. As you can see, the cold start flipped down. All right, we're good to go there. Now let's just uh, trim, some, trim some weeds real quick, some grass. Right, so I just finished up weed eating the property and I have to say I'm very impressed with uh, the job that this weed eater did. All right? My recommendation would be if you're in the market for a weed eater, you want to spend about $225, $235. The Steel FS56RC is great for home use, especially if you have a bigger yard like mine. Um, but overall, yeah, I recommend this. Definitely go pick one up. I mean, don't buy the cheapest weed eater out there. That Ryobi Expanded is total garbage, right? You can fit all these doodads and contraptions on it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't have a lot of power. Uh, the drive shaft's hollow and it has that connector in there, so it's got a really weak uh, midpoint and it's going to bend you know especially if you have a strong badass wife like mine i hope this video helps you guys and if it did hit that like button turn on notifications make sure you're subscribing be kind to each other out there peace